Hey developers, today we're going to look at Nellify. I'm going to take a view app that I have. In fact, I'm going to take this Gridsome tutorial that I did a little while back. I'm going to deploy it on Nellify. I'm going to see how easy it is. I've heard a lot of good things about Nellify, seen them advertise all over the place. So I thought for somebody that's never used Nellify, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. I'm going to show you guys how I set it up. Uh, this is not sponsored by them, by the way. I'm just going to try it out and uh, give you my honest opinion. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I am a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in action book. And a lot of, I do a lot of stuff in Vue. If you guys are interested and also in JavaScript in general, make sure you click that like button and the subscribe button. And I put some links in the description you guys to check out too. So enough with that. So if you don't know, Nellify is a uh, it has tons of products, I suppose. It has a whole Nellify platform. They have Nellify Dev. You can run your entire platform from your laptop. You can do build. It has some lambdas, analytics. It has this, um, uses, deploys AWS lambda functions. Does, it does identity. So you can um, you can do your logins and password recoveries. It has forms, has large media. So it, has a, it does a lot, a lot of things. Now, I don't have time in this video to show you everything that Nellify does um, so I'm just going to try the easiest one and that is to deploy our site our grid sim tutorial into Nellify and just take a look at it now if you're interested in doing this I'll put a link in the description below obviously you just go to Nellify.com and if you look at their pricing it's pretty reasonable to just get started they have a zero dollar a month plan great for hosting personal projects hobby sites or experiments so custom domains, HTTPS, instant get integration, continuous deployment, deploy previews. So like pretty simple to start off with. And then if you get, you know, bigger sites, more builds, then you can go to the pro or business. And like I said, in this video, I'm going to start off with something very easy. And that is just to deploy my site. And I'm not going to use the command line at all. I'm just going to do the integration in with GitHub. So I went ahead and already created a login with already signed up with GitHub for the free account. And here it is. Uh, I don't have anything in here. So I don't have any domains, members, teams, or anything. So I just need to click New Site for Git. And if you're following along, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below how this works for you. I'm going to do a continuous deployment. Choose the Git the provider where your site source code is hosted. When you push to Git, we run your build tool of choice on your servers to deploy the results. Also, by the way, there is... Um, I did a video before um, on Buddy, and that had a, a really amazing continuous integration, continuous deployment. I was able to run all my checks and everything on there. So if you guys are interested in, in these type of videos, you know, check that one out as well. Um, there's also one video I want to do in the future is on Amazon's console. Um, on Amazon has a continuous deployment through Amplify, and they have Amplify console, which is not the CLI tool. It's actually something you do inside Amazon to do deployment, which I need to check out too. So maybe that'll be my next video. So well, let's click GitHub. I'm already authorized. And now I get to choose my depot. And in fact, I just want to do this one, the Gridsum tutorial, although I could search for it if I want to and find another one. But I'm going to do the Gridsum tutorial. And I'm just going to say, hey, let's, I only have two branches in here, but let's just do the master branch. And now we need to put the build command and the publish directory. So I believe the publish directory is dist, I think. And the build commands should be npm build. And if I get confused, I can look at the docs here. And it kind of describes what you need to do. Four different types of builds. Like Jekyll, Hexo, Hugo, Gatsby, ViewPress. Um, ViewPress, but we're using Gridsum, we're not using ViewPress. So I'm going to try this out, and I'm going to deploy site, and I'm going to see if it works. So you can see right here it's in queued, and now it's running. Oops, I'll snooze this. And now, so you can see it's running the build. It's getting like the Docker environment up and running, and it's running everything. So we'll just give this a second. Oops, okay. So it said failing build, fail to build site. 
deploy directory disk does not exist. So let me double check to see what the correct one is. See what I did? I had an error here, um, which is good teaching. I did npm build, build, it should be npm run build. So let me fix that. So if we go back into my deploys here, deploy settings, and I look back at how I'm doing this. My build folder right here, npm build. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to do npm run build. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back to my overview. You see it says site deploy failed. So I'm going to uh, trigger another deploy. And clash, clash cache and deploy site. And let's see if it works this time. Okay, great. So it looks like it finished. It says site is live. Now I can click preview. And cool, I just put it up in a random Nellify domain it created here. And yep, looks like it's working. Uh, yep, it's supposed to look like that. I just put some random blog post in it when I set it up. And this is about section, I believe, is using a library to just randomly create this. Um, I think if I refresh it, I'll get new information. If you are interested in, in Gridsum, I have a whole tutorial on it. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so well, this, this is basically it. Uh, let's take a look at what else... If I look at the deploys here, I can see here it's published today and deployed in one minute. And uh, it's all up and running. And of course, if I needed to, I can go in and, and change the deploy settings. I could change the address. So here it is. Here's the real site. I guess this is the preview site and this is the real site. Um, now, it should also be inside GitHub. It should be um, inside here. So let's, let's do... I could do a new pull request, but I haven't made any changes. But let's see if I want to make a change to something. So if I go into the readme here, click the little edit button, I don't know, and I put thanks right at the bottom. And I create a new branch. I'm going to call it Eric Patch one and I'm compose. Usually I do this in the command line, but just for the sake of what I'm doing here. Um, it says able to merge. I'm going to create a pull request. And cool. So now it's checking for branches. It has, it has no conflicts. But cool. So now here is the Nellify automatically running checks on it. So it's, um, I can click details here and I can see the log and see what it's doing. It's basically creating the, you know, using the container again, installing everything, and then running the build command. Obviously, if I wanted to have more of a continuous integration. I'd have NPM tests in here as well and that it could run the tests, make sure they all pass. So it's doing everything. It's generating everything. And you can see from this screen here, from, if we go back, it's still, if I refresh it here, yep, still some checks are still pending. It's still pending. Um, and then once this is done pending, I should actually see uh, some kind of indication. Cool. So it all turned green, the check marks here. And look, I have a deploy preview ready. So before I even merge this pull request into master, I can look at the preview. So I click details here, and here's the preview site. So deploy preview too. So I can make sure it works. Obviously, I can't really take a look at it right now because the uh, I just changed the readme. But it's cool. Uh, so that's all in there, and, and it seems to be working. And of course, oops, I actually closed it. If I go back to my GitHub, and I go back to my updates, I can then uh, go ahead and merge it if I wanted to. Um, I don't have any page changes, redirect rules. I don't care about any of that. I just care that uh, the deploy is preview, and I can go ahead and merge it. If I merge it, then that should kick off inside Nellify here. My deployments, see, now it's building a, a next one. So it, it created a preview one right here, and now it's actually building it. It's going to push it to the master, which was created. So that that's really neat. You know, it's doing everything for me. I haven't uh, needed to do anything, really. Um, it was just, like, really, really simple. Here's the build log. I can look again. I can cancel it if I want to. Uh, I can change the deploy settings. Like I said, I um, I can change this if I wanted to run some tests. I can add hooks. I know there's a CLI tool too, which you can do some more 
um, some different types of integrations. You can even write, I think, whole YAML files for how you want to do your integrations. But in this video, I just wanted to show a quick way of getting up and running. Uh, I think I'll definitely be using this more for just fun little side projects and then just uh, sharing the URLs with it. I mean, I think eventually, though, I'd like to try to do some of these functions and see how I can add a Lambda function to some of it and, and see how that integration works. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So I want to I hear from you guys. What do you think about Nellify? Do you guys uh, – oops, site is live. So if we go back up here to our deploys and go back to this site, yep, it would be updated at that point. So I want to hear what you guys think about Nellify. Obviously, this is just a really simple example. Uh, is your experience like mine? Is your experience not like mine? Leave a comment in the section below. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Take care.